one today, I'm going to show you what I do when planting my bagged or boxed bare root roses that I buy from the store or get delivered. It is the very end of an unseasonably warm February and my bare roots that I've purchased are actually already leafing out and so I want to go ahead and get them in the ground. Here are two that I'm going to start the planting process of today. They're from Lowe's. They actually came boxed which should hopefully mean that their roots have stayed a little bit more moist. They're both Sweet Mademoiselle, which I was very excited about getting to purchase this year for 20 bucks. Uh, it's a great rose from what I understand, so very excited to see uh, how it does this year. The process is going to be the same whether you're dealing with boxed bare roots or bagged bare roots. Um, first thing, you want to take it out of its packaging. We're not going to plant it with the packaging material that is around the roots currently. Taking it out of the packaging, you can see the old roots have been cut, which is normal, and it's actually already started to put out new roots, these little white ones, so that is a good sign. So I have a five gallon bucket of water. I'm going to place my bare root rose in, and I'm going to let it soak for a few hours. Um, don't have to overthink it too much. It'll be fine if you soak it for overnight or even a day. I've heard of some people soaking for longer than that, but I'm going to shoot for planting tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, it is morning time. I've been soaking my bare roots overnight. I have some compost and I have my holes. So for planting bare root roses, you want to have your holes be at least 18 inches wide and deep. You want enough of um, space to fill in with some good compost. So audio quality was not great on this clip, so I'm just going to voice over. So these bare roots were own root, but when we're planting, whether own root or grafted, which you could tell if it was grafted because it would have a bulge where the canes meet in the middle and then it would thin out to kind of a long stick. We want to plant the soil level at least halfway into that bulge where the canes meet. If you live in a colder climate, say zone five or colder, you may consider completely covering that bulge where the canes meet with soil. I am less worried about doing that. I can always pile up a big stack of mulch in the wintertime to protect um, whether a grafted union or just the roots of the rose itself. When placing your rose into the hole, you're going to line up the very top of the hole with the point that you want to cover up with soil. So this is the compost I'm using. Um, it's a manure-based compost but uh, just whatever you can find at your gar local garden center, I'm sure would be great. So I'm going to take a couple handfuls and fill in the bottom of my hole. This is gonna help with not only providing nutrients for the rose bush, but also improve the drainage of my soil, which like I said, is a clay soil that can be difficult to drain sometimes. So having that compost is really gonna be beneficial. So I'm gonna take some of the regular soil, kind of mix it in, and then make sure that we're lining up that point with the top of the hole, like I mentioned earlier. So let's go ahead and fill it in, and I'll walk you through once I'm done. Okay, so we've gone ahead and planted. You're going to want to make sure before you plant that you aren't digging into super duper dry soil. So I would recommend watering in your planting hole uh, before you place the rose. You might do it a few hours in advance to let the water drain completely. All right, so now we're going to water in our rose bush. You want to make sure that you get the water kind of all around your planting hole don't have to water worry about watering it too much you want it to be nice and well watered 
Thanks for watching and hope you guys found some helpful information in this video. If you did, uh, please give this video a like. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so you can uh, see more helpful gardening videos in the future. Happy gardening!